Ladies and gentlemen, the Richthofen Easter egg has been beat in 5 minute 36 as opposed to the world record of the Maxis side of 5 minute and 20. With all of these amazing, incredible people, I'll let them introduce themselves for the four player buried world record. All right, I guess I'll start this time. Uh, it's me, Zenith. I'm top left. I'm Nukes. I'm bottom left. And I'm Hatcher, and I'm bottom right. And then Raheem is also top right. And so you guys hit the Maxis and the Richthofen Easter Egg World Record. So let's get into it. What is the first thing that you guys are all doing? Is it very similar to getting the, the paralyzer again? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Paralyzer, paralyzer again. again. Yeah. Actually, the very yeah. start is exactly the same. Raheem goes right. to Leroy. Nukes goes to Bank. I get the um, antenna. And Zenith gets the paralyzer. We just don't build trample scene this time, though. Right. And is that why it's slightly longer than the Maxis side? It's 16 seconds longer. Is it just because of the steps, or what specifically makes that slightly yeah, longer? Yeah, just the steps. It just yeah. they just take but a little to, bit longer. You have like to get Vault Trade as well. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. have to buy Vault Trade and so Zenith actually flies me. In a minute. Yeah, I was yeah, about to show that off. Perfect. That was so <laughs> cool. Like, so <laughs> many people don't this. know that. Where you can like fly another player as well as yourself with the paralyzer. So yes, down sir. here in Hatcher's POV right here, look at that, just getting shot up yeah, there. And he goes all the way up and to, up the, into the mines. That's as well, just so, the so beautiful, <laughs> man. Wow. Yeah. Uh, is there any complications that happen during this run that could have been prevented, or can this time be beat? What are you guys saying with this? I mean, later there there is like two fifty fifties we lose that cost like ten seconds. Oh yeah, and the wisps. Ten or fifteen total with the wisps, which is right. kind of why this run isn't like a five twenty something. Right. But other than that, I mean, everything else goes pretty well. One of you guys already, Raheem, is opening up the map with Leroy while you guys are also jumping over to the mansion there. That is just insane. I love yeah, all so the skips. Raheem killed a zombie here yeah. to get a drop because we need a max ammo. And we actually got a max ammo here. But the strategy is you get the max ammo or get a drop and then have Leroy change it so it's a max ammo. And then you can shoot him while he's changing the max ammo and the max ammo will stay there for the rest of the game. Oh wow! Oh my god! Yeah, gosh. so that maximum will never blink out. Yeah. For it. It'll just stay. So there I just got the time bombs now, and Raheem is getting the lantern, which Zenith swim over the fence to the witch's house, so he can stand right outside for it. And oh, now Zenith stays in the witch's house to keep the witches spawning. Of yeah, course, just yeah. Stay there forever. Yeah, yeah, because this one, as for most people that don't know. On this side, you need the witches. On Max's side, you need Leroy to take out zombies. And uh, this is just phenomenal how fast you guys are doing it. And yeah, no trample steam on the top right POV for Raheem to get up to uh, the lantern to do that little buildable step there. Yeah, so we start the wisp here. Now, after the very first spot, there's two places the wisp can go to. Right. And we get the worst of the two spots. So I have to run back to courthouse, whereas the other one's just up there in the mines right next to the sign. Right. And if it was in a better spot, how much time do you think you would so have that saved? one would probably only save a few seconds, but this one here, right mm -hmm. here, where it's this in the back tunnel, this one's a bit, lot yeah, more time loss. Right, right. Because the I other, other way is in power. total is like 10 or 15 seconds. I'd probably I say think. 10. How often yeah. in all the games you guys play do you find that you get the optimal wisp route on that? Like, is it often or is it more rare? Uh, I mean, it's two 50-50s, so it's... I mean, it's the chance that you win both of them. It's not like super rare, but you also. I felt like we lost candy amount. more than we won it, though. Yeah, you usually lose yeah. more than you win, but. Right. Um. So we're filling the the guillotine for witches here instead of zombies, and then we go right into Grand Infinity. So okay, so that, there's a lot of stuff that gets baked into this, right? right? So, what originally happened was we wanted. So there was an idea that if we threw a time bomb in Grand Infinity and used it, right. it would take us out of Grand Infinity. Right. right. That doesn't work because you can't actually use a time bomb in Round Infinity. But what we found out is if you throw down a time bomb in Round Infinity, right. wherever everyone is standing, when you come out of Round Infinity, that will be where you are. Right. And so the the only issue is is you you use a time bomb to get into Round Infinity. So to throw a time bomb during Round Infinity, you have to get a max ammo, which is what that max ammo we made ah, before was all about. I see. So you the, guys timed it. The yeah, the, the other issue that occurs is that um, when you do this trick, the problem is zombies keep spawning forever. Right. Because um, it still thinks it's like random infinity, it's some weird time bomb thing. But if you go in on a witch round, it only spawns the 10 zombies of the round. So that is why we kept a witch before going into round infinity. So it's still a witch round, but when we come out, it will be a zombie round because of the placing the time bomb. 
Yeah, yeah, whenever this yeah. round infinity ends, it's like it'll look really weird because we're not gonna yeah, be the, the zombies are gonna be like all, super and sprinting. it's gonna be a bunch of zombies. <laughs> it's, wow, the zombies are like weird. sprinting really fast for Because when you throw a time bomb, it saves like what's going on when you throw it, so it just like yeah. takes it back to here. But you're not in round infinity anymore, so it's. Right, make sure the guy with the switch is at the guillotine, and that zenith is in the back of the um. The maze. Yeah, so Zenith, yeah, in the maze with the paralyzer. Sorry, you can never do this strategy solo with a time bomb, right? Like with that double time. Uh, bomb. no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't no. work because you have to build the switch right after round infinity. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, okay. But this strategy dependent on Zenith. Yeah, you can do it on two P. But the, the important thing for this strategy is that Zenith is at the maze. So as soon as we come out, we just have to build the switch, and Zenith is already in the maze. We don't have to. Well, run. and more specifically, I'm at the gazebo in the gazebo. back because if you're yeah. in the maze when the switch is built. They actually won't spawn until you've left and come back. But if you're standing at the gazebo, the switches will spawn in just fine. Exactly. Wow. Now I die here. Um, <laughs> just ignore that. Uh, it doesn't actually lose any time. Uh, is, yeah. What does lose um, time is this switch, or not the switch. You got a bad yeah, maze. Yeah, the switch. The switch uh, position in the maze is not great. Right. Yeah. This I see is, that. Might have been there's six, there's six maze half. combinations. A little, you got, like, a little bit of run in here. Yeah. I yeah. see. But that. like as soon as this switch is pulled, we just start sharpshooting. Yeah. Then we just in. instant. I'm just sitting there spamming and bottling. I'm just sitting there spamming <laughs> around the fountain waiting for it. Yeah. I see you guys. You're like, get me in the sharpshooter, bro. Yeah. And then here, you guys actually are a little bit more set up than the Maxis run. All all the mp5 no, you gotta you gotta have to lock in yeah. at this point yeah you gotta do three yeah it's three feet you can't it's do three feet with the it's, it's a little scary yeah <laughs> right yeah Right, and so it's, why MP5 over PDW? What is the reasoning? It's faster. It is a, it's slightly faster. Okay, yeah, because yeah. you normally don't see MP5 on this step. I usually see people like the PDW because of the clip, but you guys aren't missing shots. Like this is, this is professional. <laughs> oh yeah, and Zenith comes in at the very end to help with the very yeah. end of shots. I yeah, see that. Yeah, take the pressure off. The ending sequence for the player. Uh, doing candy left. in 3P mm -hmm. Sharpshooter is pretty rough, but if you have someone hit four targets at the end, it eases it up a little bit. Yeah, and I mean, you guys absolutely slayed that, because again, for to reiterate, this is a three-player Sharpshooter for the majority of the time that you guys are doing this, which is... Yeah, and we just got a 1 in 24 before that, so we're like, you know, wow. we're a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. There's a little bit of nerves for this. Little... Yeah, but yeah, this you is, guys this is like only in. the second time in six months we've been on Sharpshooter wow. um, in a run. So wow. it's a little scary because like 3B structure is not super hard, but like when you put in, you know, the weight of a world record run with the one in 24 on oh, it's, you guys it, it's a little hard. In. Yeah, you lock yeah, in. Yeah, you gotta lock in. No, that was, that was really well done, especially because most people don't even know the strategy for doing the three player sharpshooter. But if you want to explain it, what would be like the fastest way? Because I see right down here, the person who's next to the mystery box is also kind of shooting the candy shop targets. Right? Yeah, so basically everyone takes one slot each. So saloon, witch's house and barn. Right. And then we kind of just share the candy targets each. So there's the target on the barrel at candy, which is got by the guy at saloon. So he like he like he runs out and it. like Jesus. looks looks through the door down the, the hallway and he sees the uh, barrel target and he shoots it. Right. Um, the guy at Witch's house has to get the targets in the candy windows that like slide along. And then the guy at Barn does everything else. This is, I mean, yeah, this is just next next level. This is, this is seriously well done. And I mean, especially like, I would have never thought that like that Leroy glitch would have been a huge deal as well for this, this world record. Cause it's not really yeah, That was utilized. something that I sort of found kind of recently. At least we like, we knew about it, but we didn't, it wasn't right. used in anything. Yeah. So we. Is we, yeah, we, actually we did for have, the run. um, but like in the old, old, olden strat times, um, we did get a max ammo as well during Ran Infinity. Not to use in Ran Infinity, but afterwards when we, because we'd have people run and do the switches, and then we'd time bomb back to Sharpshooter to start Sharpshooter. Um, and the difference there was we could use the perk from the witches, and then because like we we kill the last witch right before we went into Ran Infinity, and then just kept switching that perk bottle. But whereas here we can't do that because we have to keep the witch round. Yeah. And it's just, it's, I mean, it's just much more efficient that that glitch even exists. I mean, that's just insane. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, if that, if that glitch doesn't exist, keep the max ammo forever. Yeah, if that glitch didn't exist, we wouldn't yikes. be able to do this, I don't think. Yeah, no, that's Well, I remember before good. we, before we discovered that that was a way that, because this strat was basically patched only for a while. Right. Because we couldn't figure out how to get a max ammo properly. <laughs> the the olden strat, what we did on the patch run, was during Ran Infinity, I would hit the box, 
get monkey bombs to trade out my time bombs, and then hit the box again and get time bombs, which that's not feasible. In yeah, you're not. That's uh, not happening. <laughs> yeah, the RNG for that is. That it, would, it would have to be a whole in that, like, <laughs> lot of. So the the Leroy next ammo thing is the bypass to have. Yeah, that's true. That's saved us from insane RNG. Yeah, genuinely, this is this is well done, boys. And I mean, the WR on both sides of buried. Is there anything else that you guys are thinking of hitting afterwards? It, what's what's the game plan for you guys as a four as a four man? Uh, wait, we're all, we're working on Matt the Maxis super right now. Oh, as nice. this squad, and then eventually, me and Zenith and Raheem want to try to get Call of the Dead under four minutes. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's I'm the one guy. Bro, that's <laughs> wild. Like, I can't even imagine that record being If we have the route, we just need to play for the RNG. Play but for the it's, RNG. It's a little... It's a lot. Because be a one RNG is kind of annoying. But well, no, man. It is possible. It is It is I, there. I'll be sure to see it. Because that Call of the Dead Easter egg record is just so precise now. It's... Oh, it's in, it's insane. But Yeah, under four is going to be crazy. I can't, I can't wait for when we get that. It's going to be one of my favorite runs if we can pull it off, I think. I'll have every single one of you guys in the link in the description so you guys can check out all of their YouTube channels and all of that. Uh, any last words from you guys before I end the video here? Really, just watch iMac. Watch <laughs> iMac, <laughs> baby. Check out iMac234.com. Oh, uh, yes, I actually have something to say. Yes. Uh, who's who is the best perk? Who's who is the best? Oh, yeah. I got to end this video, bro. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's slander. Okay, thank y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one.